Hello everybody, what is going on? My name is Sir Medieval and today we are going to be jumping into an expedition. This is a special event we were invited to for Amazon's New World. I'm going to be playing as a dexterity fighter. I know a lot of you have probably seen a lot of magic users and uh, more than likely um, some warriors as well. But myself, I'm going to be using some of the dexterity builds uh, that I've wanted to use for a little bit now. Um, I do have to switch my gear up because we kind of just... Hold on... I was kind of rushing myself because I was trying to test a couple things out, but let me go ahead and switch up my stuff really quick here. I'm looking for the duelist set. Hold on. So we, we got uh, leveled up to 30. We do have our sets of like jewelry and things like that. But um, at the moment, we only have about 13 total skill points that we can put into each skill. Uh, I do have a build that I would like to use for the skill points as well. But um, for today, I'm doing things a little bit differently, so my build's going to be kind of all over the place. First, let me go ahead and put some gems in here. What am I looking for? Oh, I can't put these in there. Oh, okay. They don't have a slot for that. Okay, so I'll go ahead and rock with this set right here. And then, let's see, my attributes. Kind of all over the place still, as I said. I wanted to see if I can get to 100, but that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and select some of these skills. Also, don't worry about testing or looking at the the fire staff and like uh, the ice gauntlet life staff all those skills i'm going to be doing a separate showcase of that very soon so keep an eye out for that but first let's go ahead and test this stuff out so i'm going to go for um more than likely perforate so i'm going to go ahead and level that up and then vault kick and then i'll probably go sweep for this one okay and then I'm not really going to worry about the passives too much. As I said, it was all over the place because I was testing out some other skills as well. So that's why that looks like that. And then I'm going to go ahead with Rapier. Uh, I'm probably going to go Repost so I can have that counter. And then I'm thinking Tondo. Tondo and Flourish. I wish I could fully upgrade that though. Yeah, I'm going to go Tondo and Flourish. All right, let's go. It's Tondo. Repost. And Flourish. All right. Good to go. So we're going to be doing a full exploration of Amrine Temple. This is, for those of you that don't know, um, this is actually... Um, related to the ancients we don't find ancients in here it's going to be the loss that we're going to be coming across but this is going to give us some details about what exactly um, happened to the ancients or what exactly um oh, hold on let me make sure everything's okay here hold on let me make sure the sound is on i think it is but just in case Okay, yeah, we're good. So yeah, this is going to be related to the Ancients. We're going to find out a little bit more about their backstory. And in the meantime, we're also going to check out, like, firsthand what uh, Expedition inside the game will actually look like. So one thing that you'll notice is that the Expeditions do have mechanics. They're not just simple um, tank and spank situations. Uh, more than likely, uh, because uh, we're a little bit higher level than the Expedition, we won't have to worry too much about trying to use the mechanics. But um, the later ones, like Lazarus and... Um, the Garden of Genesis, I have heard that there will be some mechanics needed to be used in those. So let's go ahead and get this started. Gortan's going to be tanking. I'm um, DPS. We got a couple. I think we got one Ice Gauntlet user, one Fire Staff. So as you can see, combat is a little bit different now. Without the stagger, it might feel a little odd at first. Um, it's still going to take me some time to get used to, to be honest. Counter. All right. But um, what they've done, as you guys saw in the previous changes, is they've actually made it so certain skills still crowd control the enemy. So even though the stagger is not a thing, you still have that crowd control aspect in the game. Now, how it's going to feel when you guys get in there, I don't know. Um, I'm still going to need to you know, do some practicing with the combat system and see how it really feels. But overall, from what I've seen so far, it hasn't felt too, too bad, except for certain weapons. We will need to go over certain weapons that don't feel like they're in the best spot right now. Uh, Rape here, though, I will say is probably one of the most well-rounded well -rounded weapons so far. I'm loving this. So you can just see the environment. There's a lot of attention to detail here. I'm going to go ahead and hide the HUD. 
So we've got ourselves the ancient statues, and we did recently learn that this is what the ancients did in fact look like. And they're a big fan of spheres. So make sure to keep that in mind, because that'll come in handy for the lore later. I saw that. I thought my flourish was on off cooldown. Can't hit me. Can't hit me, son. Oh. Wait, the haystack. Oh yeah, so there are monster spawners in the game. A stack over here. Gotta sit down. So that's a really cool mechanic right there. You have to make sure that you take these down before pressing forward. And I have to make sure to conserve my stamina because that's something I always had trouble with. Come here, buttercup. You and me. Don't forget the backstab. It allows you to get some crits. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> you forgetting my freaking rep here is on uh, number one instead of two. I was having a little bit of trouble switching there. Got you. So yeah, the, the fact that we don't have, you know, CC anymore via the stagger starts to feel a little weird, especially when you're using weapons like the Rapier, you're going to end up taking a lot of hits while you're trying to do DPS. Uh, so group play will come in very handy, especially in the elite areas. It's going to make a massive difference. I'm sure you guys have seen, if you guys saw us play during the preview, you saw how we went to places like Murkguard and Shattered Mountain and, or I'm sorry, Murkguard isn't Shattered Mountain, I mean Mangled Heights fight Zinc the Obstructor, or we went to Eden Grove to fight Banes. Um, those kinds of fights are definitely going to require uh, more coordination than before, and it's going to be a lot more difficult just to fight even the baseline mobs without having the ability to stagger, so that's going to be something to consider as well. There's still a lot of feedback to be given on the combat system overall, but I'm really interested to learn where it goes and what kind of weapons we'll be seeing in the future, too. Missed... Oh, I wish I blocked that. I tried to block, but I couldn't. <laughs> nice. All right, so we got to open this door here. Open this. We're supposed to have a VoIP on right now. I think my mine is like automatically disabled by default, so I can't hear anybody, but... Let me make sure I disable or enable that really quick. All right. Normally, I keep it disabled if I'm in the middle of town, like during the preview specifically. Um, I didn't want to keep that on blast kind of thing. Make sure we put our food buff on here. Food buffs are very important as well. It's gonna give you some health recovery, and uh, since they made changes to the food buffs, there's going to be like. Uh, attribute stats that you can get as well as um even bonuses to gathering i believe they might still have that i have to go back and check actually because they might have removed the gathering bonus food but the gathering perks that's still a thing so if you get gear that has bonuses to mining bonuses to skinning stuff like that that should still be something that works for you Stay behind. Make sure to try to stay behind the enemies whenever you're DPSing as well, because that'll allow you to get those back crits. Uh, you can see my uh, my hits were like yellowish orange right there for the most part, and then when I was in front of them, it was like uh, whitish. Mm. Puzzle. Breakthrough. After months of hard work and guessing, I made a breakthrough. We're gonna read that later, but. A brilliant leap has allowed us to reactivate the crossing. Oh, yes. Okay. Oops, I missed. Got you. Sorry, right, usually I keep I keep the rape here on number two, and I keep the spear on number one if I'm doing a dex build so this is a little tricky to use but we're gonna make it work
Oh boy. You can still stun um, certain creatures with, you know, crowd control abilities like what I just used. The ghost is still stunnable. This big boy right here, he's not, not really that stunnable. Ooh. Oh, he didn't come at me. I was gonna use the repost. I have to dodge. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and switch it up a little bit. And go ahead and switch to bow. Now re remember, um, what's it called? Uh, scatter shot got changed to splinter shot. So the way that it works now is the arrow has to travel a total of 10 meters before it'll split off. So that's going to be a little bit of a different situation here. I'm trying to hold on. Rapid fire. Can't switch him right now. The so splinter shot, you got to be a little bit of a, at a distance before you uh, shoot it. That way it'll split apart properly. It's like we got ourselves a haystack here. Take down this haystack. Look at me missing. That was terrible. Okay, um, I'm going to add musket into the mix as well, just to show you guys a little bit of that. Powder burn, traps, and power shot. Powder shot, this is powder shot, this is uh, power shot, I'm going to go traps. Yeah. Alright. Hold on, let me auto run while I'm doing this. And then bow. Alright, let me show you a little bit about the musket too. So the musket's been improved a little bit as we saw during the re previous like, really big balance patch. Um, what happens with the musket is that they increase the damage like overall by about 15% across the board with a lot of their skills. And the basic attack in general. So the musket's got a lot of power back pack behind it now. I'm going to go ahead and start working on this haystack right here. Don't forget a really good combo with the musket is you can actually... Do a basic attack, then do a powder burn or a power shot, and you can automatically reload it like that. You can also get a perk on the musket that allows you to reload it just by dodging. That's a really useful thing to have as well. Go ahead and pull that ghost right there. Oh, you are fast. Same thing I like to combo with, with the bow is I like to use penetrating shot, just like that, um, right after a basic attack, and that allows you to do a little bit of animation canceling. Looks like we got ourselves a little bit of a sphere here. But yeah, as you can see, it's not just a basic dungeon. Um, I mean, the fact that it's level 25 and has mechanics at all is very good. And the attention to de detail with, with a lot of the scenery is also very impressive. I do like what I'm seeing on the inside. It's, it's good to actually see it up close after, you know, just covering it from a little bit of footage and stuff that we got. Got my aim. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna do powder burn, and this does a should do a damage over time, except I missed. Should be a damage over time based ability. Okay. Right. All right, let's switch it up a little bit more. Let's do hatchet and sword. Look at this bad boy right here. So some of these ghosts, like the elemental ones, like this one, they'll have special abilities. Like I've seen lightning ones before that have access to all kinds of AoEs and things like that that they can use. It's really cool to see whenever we do come across it. All right, let's party. And I'll only just, I'll just use the dexterity weapons because I don't want to take too much away from the actual experience. So we'll just do this instead. 
We'll just use hatchet and sword for the rest. I used to use leaping strike all the time, except there's been some changes. Oops. Been some changes to the skill animations. Like for um reverse stab, it it got rid of the initial hit. So now it's just one hit with the reverse stab instead of two hits in one skill. And then um, on the actual passive side, the leaping strike actually doesn't have the charged passive anymore where you're able to basically, um, I think it might be activated, right? Oh yeah, yeah, I got it. Someone else has got to stand on the bottom one. So with the charge strike, uh, the leaping strike passive that was on sword, whenever you did a leaping strike, you were able to increase the damage of either your next ability or your next attack by a certain amount, which is pretty good. But they don't have that one anymore, unfortunately. So I'm going to go ahead and do Shield Rush instead. Shield Rush, Whirlwind Blade, and that. Hold on. Yes. And Berserk is so freaking strong now. You can, you can legit tank with this weapon by itself. If anybody's considering making a tank build, this is the weapon you'll want to have now. And we're going to go into an in-depth look on that later on, but trust me, you will definitely want to be using this weapon. Oh, they changed the animation on Whirlwind Strike. Whirlwind Blade, that's interesting. Not moving around, you. Interesting thing about Berserk as well is you can cancel it out early to get that 30% health regen. Um, like we talked about in the balance video, um, you are able to heal off of this skill, and it only has about a, what was it, 30 second cooldown. And that can also be reduced even further with perks and gems and stuff like that. So that's pretty crazy when you think about it, just how powerful that can be. And it also makes a uh, sword and hatchet a very powerful combo because you see how I still have last stand on even though I'm in the hatchet. But once that last stand ends, if I have the restoration passive on um, last stand or final stand, I'm sorry, I was it used to be called last stand, then it will heal me for 15% of my health. It's very powerful. I don't think I have that passive on right now. So we're approaching the end right now. I shouldn't be running ahead though. Ooh, Ravager. All right, let's switch away from sword. Just one more time, let's do rapier. Just because I don't want to pull aggro. I want to make sure that I can uh, DPS. Yeah, this will make it so I can't even be interrupted while using this. Very powerful. Especially in PvP, that's going to be really crazy, so make sure to keep an eye on that. Last page. Disturbing power beyond his comprehension. Yeah, I'm, the Ancients have me super curious. I'm still looking for information, like any kind of information I can possibly get on them. Because I'm really wanting to know what exactly happened to the Ancients, what did they awaken, all kinds of information like that I've been looking for. Everywhere I could go. Okay. Let me bring that back. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that hurt. Whatever that was. Ow. Oh, that's an interesting mechanic right there. I like that. That reminds me of a... What was that dungeon in World of Warcraft? Uh, not not Shadowlands or BFA. I think it was in... Um, I think it was in Legion. Or it might have been in Shadowlands. 
but I remember a cathedral, a dark cathedral that you went into, and there was a boss at the end that had um, ghosts like that that would like fly around the room and you had to dodge them like that. I like that mechanic. That is nice. And they do quite a bit of damage too. Also got to be super careful when walking into this uh, purple aura or basically walking out of it. Because if the boss spawns it and you walk out of it, I believe you get stunned. You got to be kidding me. Oh my god. I'm down. Okay. So we do we do get some gear out of here as well and these attributes seem to be pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and put that on because that'll put me over 100 dexterity i didn't look at my jewelry so i don't know what exactly i have on right now yeah Let's see if i can switch that really quick and i need a ring right no no, no i need i need an earring I don't see one for, uh, I don't see one for Dex. Actually, I'll go Spear and Hatchet, because Hatchet is really powerful. Even though uh, we're running Dex right now, it still, um, it still increases off of Dex as a secondary. So Hatchet scales off of Strength and Dex, uh, but Strength gives it more, if I remember right. It should still give it more. But even with that, it's still powerful because of Berserk. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice DPS right there. Just to double check. Yeah, Strength and Dexterity. Oh, we got another haystack right here. Okay. But there's there's really a lot of potential here with these expeditions. Uh, one thing that I would really love to see, though, still, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep preaching it, is dynamic events. I think that if they're able to uh, create things like this, I think that it would be amazing to see what they'd be able to do with dynamic events out in the open world. And I really see. A lot of stuff in here that they could potentially use in the open world for stuff like that like i feel like if we had um ghosts that would just attack a settlement just randomly or attack a specific part of the map and you could go to it and fight with npcs or fight with your group of players or whatever to beat them back i think that could be pretty cool oh there's the big man we know who that is so the entire uh premise behind this expedition is that um simon gray had went in with an excavation team to learn the secrets of the ancients uh buddy old boy simon over there isn't doing too hot though as you can see over there he awoke something that was related to the ancients which has some big questions about what exactly they are what they've done um, if you haven't checked already i did do a video a couple weeks ago or a couple yeah about a week or so ago about um, the influences of christianity and greek mythology and in that video at the end we talked about um, some important information about the um the ancients and what they actually look like so the statues that you've been seeing inside this dungeon uh, that's actually what the real ancients look like their servants the ancient guardians the skeletons they're not actually the ancients they're just the people that serve them and the previous um, lore pages did talk about that as well as as how their uh, servitude their just their will free, free will has been stripped away and all they can do is serve and that's actually related a little bit related to what we found out about the siren queen I should really get on this side so I don't get hit in the face by this big boy. <laughs> Look at him, though. Zerk. I canceled it out too early, but that's okay. Ooh. He hits hard just by running over you, too got so much health oh my god that way for berserk again running out of health pots but I, I think we're still doing okay we're okay
Come on. Yes. Got that last hit in. You can actually combo a heavy attacks into your light attack chain to create some new animations. So like how you saw me just do a little bit of a quick spin at the end of that hatchet basic combo. Like if I do this. Wait, hold on. I got to do three, three light attacks. Two, three. One, two, three. And then boom, like that. You can create an entirely new chain. Almost got him down. Come on. He's got some mechanics to watch out for as well. Mostly if you're a tank, you just don't want to take that to the face unless you can block it because it's not going to feel good. I do have a debuff on me at the moment, I believe. I think it's giving me a little bit of a... Or at least it was giving me a little bit of damage over time on my health. We're almost there. I don't need to use this, but better safe than sorry. He's almost there. Yes. Simon Gray and also the achievement system like we just saw uh, the previous patch. It has been implemented into the game, which is very cool. So we, ha we now have a lot of different achievements, not just uh, player versus environment based ones. But for those of you that enjoy PvP, we do have PvP achievements as well. GG. So we do have those. So for those of you that do enjoy that kind of thing, you are able to do that. We also have uh, PVE based ones um, by missions. It looks like PVP based missions or wait, PVP based. What is this? Oh, yeah, this is faction based missions. This is what that is. And then overall play for 720 hours. Challenge accepted. Please. We'll get a thousand. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. And we've even got crafting ones, which is really good. I'm looking forward to seeing I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, that turns into, actually. Like, what kind of other achievements we might see in the future. And also, something interesting, you are able to change factions. So right now, in this biography menu, this is something that uh, we didn't see before. But you're able to actually do that now, so you can change to Marauders or Covenant. Uh, there are some rules on this. You can only change every 120 days. Changing the factions resets your faction ranks and, ranks and tokens. And you can't join the faction that controls the most territory. So that's something that's very important to point out as well. But overall, folks, that's all I wanted to go over for today. And showcase, we're going to do some more showcases over the next couple of days and talk about everything that I have found and haven't found inside this video. Uh, I'm going to do some extra testing here as best I can and find out some more stuff. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure for those of you that want to do crafting that you look into furnishing, that's going to be a very lucrative craft. You guys have a wonderful night or day. I'll catch you next time. I cannot wait for Lazarus.